We are here at AWS reInvent, and one of the topics that we're covering is the industrial metaverse. I have two experts by my side here. BCG's Dr. Telman Buchner, he is Global Leader, Innovation Center for Operations and Partner and Director at BCG, and Mr. Bill Foy, Director, Solutions and Go-to-Market Automotive and Manufacturing at AWS. Great to see you both. Dr. Buchner, before we go too much further in the conversation, what is the industrial metaverse? Well, first, the industrial metaverse is a concept. It actually, it helps companies to do things they couldn't do before five years ago. Let me give you four examples. There's one opportunity to really enhance the collaboration across engineering processes, which means you could really reduce the time in these engineering processes. Secondly, it's about simulation. We could accelerate the time needed to do simulation. For example, by factor 10,000. Third, it's about virtualization. Thanks to enhancements in photorealistic rendering, you can close the simulation to reality gap. And last but not least, it's about synchronization. So now we can make sure that the real world and the virtual world is always in sync. So based on this description, Mr. Foy, how do you see the enabling technologies of the industrial metaverse? Yeah, so I think the, uh, the cloud is obviously one of the enabling technologies. And as we think about like IoT, in the devices there. Internet of things. So yes, Internet of things. And then virtualization is really important. And then additionally, as we think about uh, like rendering and these types of areas, I think that's really important for enabling technologies. So if we think about the industrial metaverse, how do you close this gap between simulation and reality, Dr. Bergner? Actually, the industrial metaverse benefits from the enhancements in compute power because the GPU chipsets, they actually enable now that we have these significant improvements in computer generated imaginary, which allows us to do ray tracing effects, which at the end enables us to render things so that they look like as in reality. And this is what we call closing the simulation to reality gap. Mr. Foy, how do you see that? And how do you see closing this gap on a time horizon? Yeah, I think the, uh, the services that we're creating to help enable, I think within two years, you'll see a big difference from where we are today. So you'll start to see some, some things trickle out as, as use cases, but within two years. Okay, Mr. Bill Foy and BCG's Dr. Tillman Buchner, thank you both.